Welcome to the quadratic formula. In this lesson, we will be talking about this thing that doesn't look very pretty, huh? Well, I'm going to show you a good way so you can understand it and use it when you're solving using the quadratic formula. Let me <coughs> clear up my throat. I had a little honey. Hey, guess what? I'm going to try out for some of those singing competitions they have on television where I sing and I get judged based off of how well I do. So, you guys send me some emails and tell me how you think I can sing because I'm going to sing you a song right now using the quadratic formula. One of my teachers taught me this and it was a great thing that I learned. Ready? <clears throat> okay, here goes. X equals negative B plus or minus square root B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. Sing it with me. X equals negative B plus or minus square root B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. One more time. X equals negative B plus or minus square root B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. My voice has gotten a lot better. Before I used to sing it as x equals negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And it was really, really bad. But my voice is improving. What do you think? Well, send me some emails. Let me know what you think about that. But that is the quadratic formula. It's a way better way to understand how to use it and how to go ahead and put it into your homework and your test. Again, x equals negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now we're going to use that to solve using the quadratic formula. If I could be honest, the hardest thing about the quadratic formula is actually just understanding the formula and knowing it. So once you know that, then you're fine. Again, x equals negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. You know that, everything will be easy. The other thing I want to let you guys know is the quadratic formula, in order to use it, everything has to be set equal to zero, and you have to have your x squared. So it has to be a quadratic equation, okay? Now, let's go ahead and plug everything in. So you want to determine what your a is, what your b is, and what your c is. If you remember that ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero is your quadratic equation. Right? So now your a will be anything that's in front of the variable, the x squared. So that would be your a here is equal to a positive 3. Your b is what's next to the x. That will be a positive 9. And your c is your constant here, which is your 2. So c is equal to 2. You want to identify what those are. Now, realistically, you don't need anything else. Let's go ahead and erase this. Now all you want to do is plug everything into your x equals negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Plug that in. So here you would say x equals negative, and you put parentheses in here, and you want to go ahead and plug in what your b is. Your b is 9 plus or minus the square root of b squared, which would be 9 squared minus 4 times a, which is 3 times your c, which is 2, all over 2a, which is 2 times 3. Okay, good. Once you do that, you just simplify everything. So first, I'm going to go ahead and multiply that 9 squared. So x will equal negative 9, because that would be a negative 9, plus or minus the square root of 9 squared, so that would be 81 minus, and you can multiply one of the terms as well in here. Negative 4 times 3 would give me a negative 12 times 2, all over 2 times 3 is 6. And then, last, you just go ahead and multiply negative 12 times 2, which would give you a negative 24. So let's go ahead and put that in there. So we would have a negative 24. Good. Now, you want to go ahead and simplify everything. And you just work down. I know I'm erasing, but because I want to make sure you guys see everything, but you should work down. Okay. 81 minus 24 will give you 57. 
Okay? A positive 57. So now you put that in there. And now, can you take the square root of 57? No. Can you break down 57? No, you cannot. Well, actually, you can't. You can do 57. The square root of 57 would be, well, we know that 3 goes into it. So how many times does 3 go into 57? Let's find out. It goes in there one time. Uh, it goes in there 19 times. So technically, we actually can't break it down very far. So we would just say it's the square root of 57. So by solving using the quadratic formula here, we would say x is equal to nine, negative 9 plus or minus the square root of 57 over 6. And let's go ahead and box that because that is your answer. And what helped? Knowing the song. x equals negative b plus or minus square root b squared minus 4ac all over 2a.